Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is the Sketch Monster channel. Uh, I'm going to push a lot more like verbal kind of uh, studying and stuff like that uh, in terms of how I draw monsters and fantasy related material. Uh, I want to go over more technical stuff. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to draw teeth, especially sharp teeth when you type with like the canines, kind of wolf, that kind of thing. Uh, wolf, just even just sharp teeth. Uh, and honestly, just normal teeth in general. So. Uh, let me kind of get down into it. Uh, I kind of drew you know, kind of a start of one here and one there. So when we're going over teeth, and I'm not sure if I went over it specifically this channel, uh, teeth is a tooth cylinder, right? It is a round form. You ever see those like Cracker Jack things? It, ha it makes this kind of form, if you were to think of it as a block. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> you think it's like a block per se, and the, the teeth is there. It is kind of a part part of a cylindrical object. So you gotta when you're looking at it from the front. Hopefully, you can see this pen's kind of small. People like to do this and kind of evenly distribute the teeth. In reality, it's not like that. It gets tighter along the edges because it's moving backwards along this cylinder. Oops, a daisy. So it'll be boom, 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 boom. Smaller as it goes back. Uh. So it's big tooth, big tooth, small, small. It gets smaller on the sides of that mouth, like I said, because it's going backwards in space. Uh, that's something that's really important because that's kind of that'll differentiate uh, kind of a beginner from an intermediate. If uh, any of this doesn't make sense, please message me in the comments. I'm going to try to have a back and forth, and I really want to get this stuff like down. You know, I want I want any question you have, I want to make a video about it, and I want to make sure you kind of understand it. And even if it gets really, there's no stupid questions, you know. Um, even if it gets really crazy, like in depth, like you're like you're going really far into it, it doesn't matter. You know, whatever it takes to understand it. So when I'm going to teeth, you know, especially sharp teeth, I tend to put the flat in the middle, and you have the sharp teeth over here. The the canine's kind of similar to like, uh, you know, you see the werewolf, the can the canine, and the lower I forget what you call these in the bottom, and they kind of interse intersect, they cross over, very similar. If you look at like a tiger's mouth. I actually have a bobcat right here. This is a real bobcat skull. Hopefully you can see this if it adjusts. Do you see that? The way they kind of interlock. And the flat in the middle. And then these uh, are here to kind of grind. Kind of grind stuff. And if you look at uh, certain animals, um, they kind of... So how, I mean, the only way I can explain this with my teeth with humans, you do kind of have a slight overlapping, but not much. You know what I mean? But with stuff like that, like tigers and, and things of that sort, you have this massive overlap of the tooth, at least on the side, because they're made to crunch bone. You know what I mean? They're made to, like, destroy bone. Uh, those things are, like, if you look at a tiger's mouth, that thing is, like, made to kill. Like, holy cow. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, so you have this massive overlapping on the kind of right and left. Like I said, this is a bobcat, but it's related. See how this massively overlaps this? This thing's going to snap some, like, rabbits, rabbit bone, you know? Um, <clears throat> so just got to keep that in mind, too. It's good to just know that. Uh, if we kind of go into this, like, let's just take this portion right here. Uh, let's say all the teeth. Uh, when I tend to draw all the teeth is sharp, it's a little iffy, right? Because when they're all sharp, it's kind of weird. It, gets, it becomes this mess. Uh, but when I draw them sharp, I try to draw them thinner and sharp, not so much larger and wider and sharp. Uh, thinner and sharp looks more menacing. Uh, it tends to look like it's just going to tear it up. You know what I mean? Um, as opposed to larger, it's a little dumpier. Uh, if you, it would have a larger proportionally, by the way. It might look a little darker, uh, you know, weirder. But like I would say, more like this. More like I said, sharp. The mouth is probably there somewhere. You can draw every single tooth sharp if you want.
um, when it hits the gum line, the gum line creates this kind of, so you got the tooth, right? Let me, if you were to zoom in on that. So you got the tooth, but it's, you kind of, the tooth is wedged in there, right? It's kind of, it's got this root way inside, but this gum, the gum that it hits, let's say this is the gum up here, that bulges out because the tooth is jammed up into it. So the gum, the gum line, so let's say you have the tooth, the gum is going to bulge and it will create, like I said, this kind of pushing out this of like if you were to push like um like like a pencil into pudding or something like that i don't know that's kind of a weird thing it's going to be this area right here is going to bulge outward and then it will kind of normalize as it goes in obviously this it would be an entire row of these things because it's the gum So, like I said, that you have to make that apparent that there is this kind of slight uh, bulging of the gum. And if you do that, that'll kind of lead into the other things. That, that's just a close up, you know? Let's put that close up. Uh, but you do that over here as well. And that, that, that definitely takes precedent when you're doing this, uh, especially with monsters that, like, their kind of sharp teeth is the center point. It's a center point because it's it causes fear, all right, in the viewer or in the, you know, whatever's going on. You kind of like, like when you look at Venom, you're like, dang, you know, that's like all teeth. You're scared that he's gonna bite you, even though I don't know if he's ever really bitten much. Usually he just punches you, right? He's like this giant punching machine. He's like freaking on roids, right? <laughs> um, anyways, that's a few suggestions on how to draw kind of sharp teeth as opposed to normal teeth. Um, if you have any questions at all, or if you like this teaching style uh, as opposed to the earlier like speed drawings, just let me know. Uh, like thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments, guys. I really want to know what you want to do. Uh, I want to really customize when you talk about like fantasy art, things like that. If you have a topic you want to go over, please uh, write it below. But definitely talk to me. Uh, I'm going to really try to be more open with everybody now. And uh, I really would like to kind of talk to who's watching the channel. This is very con this is connected to my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is uh, sketch underscore monster number one. So let me know, guys, and I will see you next time.